present the bottle to the customer and reconfirm their choice. Have a folded service cloth with you to prevent drips. To open a bottle of champagne, you can remove the foil using the tag or a wine knife to create a neater cut. Loosen the cage, removal of which is optional. However, in either case, always keep your hand over the cork and point it away from everyone, just in case. Hold the bottle by the base in one hand and the cork at the top in the other. Use a service cloth if it helps with the grip and twist the bottle, not the cork. It takes one ton of pressure to get a cork into a champagne bottle and therefore it will pop out with some considerable force. Never shake the bottle. Control the release of the pressure as you twist out the cork. Rather than make it pop, you should hear a gush of air in a controlled manner. Pour a small amount as a taste measure for the guest. However, if it's clearly flat, discard it and replace the bottle. Serve clockwise around the table, beginning with the oldest lady and finish with the host. Pour considerately. The foam can bubble up quickly and can overflow. Do not touch the glass with the bottle to prevent chips or breaks in the glass. Wipe the neck of the bottle after each pour to keep it clean and drip free. Make sure your ice buckets are clean and polished. They should be about one quarter ice and one quarter water. Keep topping up so the bubbles are fresh in the glass, but ask as you approach the table. Inquire as to whether the host or the person who ordered the wine if they require another bottle when the first is finished. Thank you very much. Enjoy your